This is our daily meditation for the 1st of August. Salvation is of the Lord, shouts Jonah from the belly of the great fish that God had prepared to save him from death by drowning. God did not want Jonah to die prematurely, and certainly not before he had been obedient to the call to take the message of salvation about the upcoming judgment upon the wicked nation of Nineveh. Jonah's reason for sailing away in the opposite direction was because he was quite happy for the nation to be punished. He believed they deserved it, and he knew that God was always willing to answer repentance, and not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. When God accepted the repentance of Nineveh's king and his citizens, Jonah went into an angry sulk and sat watching to see what would happen in order to prove his point that God is gracious, merciful, slow to anger and abundant in loving kindness and would relent from doing harm. And so he did. God has not changed. He still sees the wickedness of men and nations and in accordance with his own nature and character must judge sin and bring destruction on those that will not believe his word and will not repent and turn to God in faith. Whether it be Nineveh or London, New York, Paris or Madrid, the only answer to the impending judgment on men and nations is just what Jonah called in desperation from the great fish's interior. Salvation is of the Lord. It saved him. The men in the boat taking Jonah to Tarshish found out that crying to their gods for help was of no avail. The king of Nineveh was right in calling for his nation to cry mightily to God. Would that our nation would do the same. Would that the church leaders in our land would lead the cry for repentance and turn into the Lord in faith. Would that every born again believer would take up the call to take the message of salvation to friends and neighbours and seek the face of God for our Christ-rejecting nation. Our nation needs us. God is relying on us. Let's shoulder the burden and do all we can in our small corner to carry out our commission for his glory and for souls. God bless.